hello everyone so this weekend we got another product for our photo shoot so here is a setup so I have a couple of strobes parallelly <clears throat> and then I have mounted a flash uh, so which is actually facing towards the wall so that it can bounce the light and reflect it back into the uh, shoe. This shoe is quite shiny so I thought probably I should uh, take a photograph of this. Uh, I'm just trying to give my best what I can do with it. <coughs> I'm trying out. Uh, so that is a quite challenging in terms of reflection. So uh, the lights which comes in and out it, it's, it's quite different. So you have reflection each and every side of your light which you, which you have. So what I've done is uh, I've just clipped a uh, uh, cardboard here so it can uh, diffuse the light. And this side uh, parallelly I have a couple of uh, A4 sheet paper so that uh, it, it covers up the lines which is here which comes here. So you, you still you can see there is a line so if you do not have this paper it will have a lot of lines here. So it will be, uh, uh, it will not cover up the shininess in the shoe. So I'm just trying to <coughs> capture it the shoe the way it is. So I've connected to the uh, system. This is slightly Okay, slightly okay in terms of uh, in terms of shoe and it, it represents the style it does so let's check out the final product I wanted to show you a difference uh, between having the thermocol and not having the thermocol so the reason is I was I was using this flash as a bounce uh, what was what happened is I got an image which was something like this so so I tried with the paper so previously I got an image with these shadows so so these shadows was quite uh, annoying so it was not that great so what I did is uh, I used the paper so when I use a paper, uh, I could see like there is a slight line covering up and moreover this paper was also, uh, this was just a trial. So I kept the thermocool and then I took a shot. Uh, this was the result, which, which is, which is uh, covering up the entire shadows and giving the actual texture of the shoe. So you just have to be very cautious when you deal with the light so it, it is just bouncing back we may think but uh, the level of light which you allow to the product is more important uh, when compared to having a direct light. There's no time for me I've been flying from town to town